Good morning, Sacred Heart. Today is Wednesday, October the 27th. Please stand for O Canada and morning prayer. Has not one God created us? Why then are we faithless to one another, profaning the covenant of our ancestors? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If we are bonded in one God, why is it so hard to get along with one another? Why do we discriminate against others? And why are we so hard on each other? Take a moment in prayer today to think about how connected we are to other people. Start by praying for a good friend. Then think of the people who are close to your friend and pray for them. Pick one of those people, think about who they are close to, and pray for those people as well. Just imagine the number of people we are connected to through just one relationship. We have the power to touch many people's lives. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, you give us the power to bond with other people through love, compassion and service. Help us to be a positive link in the people we connect together with. Amen. Sacred Heart, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello Sacred Heart. Right here we are going through our Sacred Heart 2021 School Apparel. This is the women's section where you can find a variety of zip-ups, sweaters, polos, t-shirts, and vests. They come in a variety of sizes and colorways. Here is the unisex slash men's section of the school clothing. Orders must be in by November 1st. I hope to see all student body rocking their school clothing because I'm sure there is something that would look great on you. Here is the youth apparel. Go on, Sacred Heart. Order your school clothing now before November 1st. Many options available. Good morning, Sacred Heart. We just got a few announcements for you today. P reminder to all girls hockey players, please re bring your signed permission form to Madame Gonzalez and E111 before try tryouts on Thursday. October. There are many people in, who are in need of warm socks during the month of October. Sacred Heart High School will be collecting new and unused socks that will be donated to the emergency shelter in Kitchener Waterloo. The sock box is located in the hallway by the food room. Please help us fill the box by bringing in your donations. We have a goal of 100 pairs of socks by the end of the month. Help us meet this goal. We have one week to collect 24 pairs of socks. Come on Sacred Heart, we can do it. Disney trivia is this Thursday. This week's trivia is all about scary characters. Come to the library and join in the fun for a chance to win prizes from Walking in Pizza to Light and Walking in Subway every week. Please bring your friends and wear your Disney Star Wars or Marvel swag. 
There is a house upon the edge of town where we will not go inside, for that is where the witches live, where the goblins and goes hide. Douglas Street, Haunted House, 891 Douglas Street, Durham, October 29th, 30th, and 31st. 6 o'clock to 7 is not so scary hour. Quarter after 7 to quarter after 9. Anything can happen. Administration is $2 per person. All money collected will be donated to a local food bank. Mask and sanitizing and COVID tracing is in effect, but pa vaccine passports are not required. And I have a few announcements for today's Sacred Heart as well. Tomorrow is Halloween Costume Day. Show your Halloween school spirit by wearing your costume. Reminders, make sure your costume is school appropriate. You must wear your me regular mask, but no full face coverings and limited gore. We hope to see you tomorrow in your Halloween costumes. Teachers, this is an announcement for you. Please dismiss the girls basketball team at 3 o'clock today. Ladies, please change and meet with Miss Rat at the front doors for a walk to WDCS. Good luck. This is your last week to try on school clothing samples in E110. So, all orders are due by Monday on November 1st, so go try them on. We do have a late bus running today, so please go sign up before the end of lunch. And I have a very important announcement. Mr. Metcalf has lost his favorite pencil. It is yellow with a pink eraser and quite dull, just like he is. If anyone has seen it, please return it to him. His ear is lonely with that favorite pencil. And that is all from us, Sacred Heart. Have a great Wednesday. Who and how you doing? It's me, Rosanna Deerchild, host of Unreserved and your favorite cousin. Well, it's that time of year. Leaves are falling, the weather is cooling, and pumpkins are everywhere, from front yards to coffee cups. Now, I love a good pumpkin spice latte as much as the next person, or not. But come October, I always feel a little uneasy and more than a little queasy as to what is waiting for me out there. No, I'm not talking about Halloween per se. I'm talking about those horrifying costumes. You've seen them. Princess Pocahontas, Reservation Royalty, the brave Cherokee warrior with the plastic tomahawk and all its ilk. Yes, you too can be indigenous for the low, low price of just $29.99, oppression not included. Now, as indigenous peoples, we come from beautiful cultural backgrounds. Many non-indigenous people admire. I mean, I get it. The beauty in our culture and traditions fascinates you. There's just one problem. We are not costumes. Let me explain the difference between cultural appropriation and cultural appreciation. What exactly is cultural appropriation? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Cultural appropriation is when someone takes elements from a culture not their own and remakes and reduces it into a meaningless pop cultural item. I'm thinking hipster headdresses tribal face paint, and yes, those so-called Halloween harmless fun costumes. It's not harmless fun. That headdress, for example, traditionally a headdress is gifted to leaders who have earned the right to wear one. Receiving a headdress involves ceremonies and protocols and is considered to be a sacred item, and it takes many years for these leaders to earn one. And that Pocahontas and sexy buck outfit well, they play off dangerous stereotypes of indigenous people as mythical and historical creatures that once, but no more, roam this great land. Like the Seminole, Navajo, Kikapu, like the Cherokee, I'm an Indian too. Cultural appropriation can be harmful because it is an extension of centuries of racism, genocide, and oppression. Cultural appropriation treats marginalized cultures as free for the taking. So not cool. On the other hand, cultural appreciation truly honors our nation's arts and cultures. When you appreciate, you take the time to learn and interact, to gain understanding of a culture or cultures different from your own. It is a cultural exchange based in mutual respect. The key is consent and participation. If it is about us, then it must include us. A few ways you can truly appreciate Indigenous peoples and culture? Know our history. I don't mean just yours or mine, I mean our collective history. So we truly understand where we come from and where we come together. Remember, 
Appreciation good, appropriation bad. And this year, let's all have a happy Halloween. <laughs>